Hey, Grace Quotes. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 says this. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? Well, um, a lot of people will uh, interpret that verse based upon the grammar and say we need to be filled by the Holy Spirit, which means the Holy Spirit is almost like the agent and he is filling us with God. That could be true, but I'm just going to go with the traditional interpretation that it's the Holy Spirit himself that fills us. We, we, we talk about being filled with the Spirit, uh, but again, what does that mean? Well, we know we're in dwell with the Spirit. That one's pretty straightforward. When we come to Christ, he takes up full residence in our lives. But what does it mean to be filled with the Spirit? Because according to this, it sounds like a Christian can be filled with the Spirit or he cannot be filled with the Spirit. Being filled with wine will take us in one direction. Being filled with the Spirit will take us in another direction. What does it mean to be filled with the Spirit? I think Wayne Grudem, a uh, great uh, theologian, is very helpful when he gives us this definition. Listen closely. Being filled with the Spirit means to be filled with the immediate presence of God to the extent that you are feeling what God himself feels, desiring what God desires, doing what God wants, speaking by God's power, praying and ministering in God's strength, and knowing with the knowledge that God himself gives. That's good. That's good. Um, what more could I add to that? Here's some thoughts I came up with. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is not adding to what I do not have as a Christian, but rather allowing what I do have as a Christian, which is the Holy Spirit dwelling me, to be fully in control of my life. Or how about this? The Holy Spirit is not given out in partial measure. So it's not like you know, I'm having a bad day today spiritually, only 10% being filled with today. Tomorrow may be a better day, I'm up to 90. No, either I have him or I don't in terms of his filling. Of course, his indwelling is always there, but his filling varies. Either he's there or he's not. Or as Paul would say in Galatians, either I'm walking in the Spirit or I'm walking in the flesh. Because the Holy Spirit is not given out in partial measure. If he's being allowed to control my thoughts and actions, I am being filled with the Holy Spirit. Or how about this? It's not getting more of God... But being filled with the Spirit is allowing God to get more of me. Or, he is not filling me when I'm given over to pride. He's not filling me when I'm given over to self. He's not filling me when I'm giving over to unrepentant sins that God hates. But he is filling me when I'm yielding to Christ's authority and allowing him to dominate my thoughts and actions. Or another one. It is a command for the Christian to be filled with the Spirit, as we see in 518. But the goal is not that I might gain his influence, but rather that I would understand his influence already in me and that he might gain more of me. So the question we have today is, am I being filled with alcohol, as this verse says, or self, or am I being filled with sin, or am I being filled with the Holy Spirit? Samuel Chadwick put it like this, Spirit-filled souls are ablaze for God. They love with a love that glows. They serve with the faith that kindles. They serve with the devotion that consumes. They hate sin with fierceness that burns. They rejoice with a joy that radiates. Love is perfected in the fire of God. That's what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit.